Joker, no, no. It's King Brew Pan. All right, guys, welcome to episode three of Mail Mondays. And we are going to hop right into this because there's so much stuff to open. We're going to save this big thing for last. I have no idea what this even is. It's <laughs> it's crazy. My little, my little, uh... A uh, P.O. box was like just crammed full of stuff. Uh, this one is from uh, Hing Kong and uh, Let's just crack this open. Let's get into this. I'm like really 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 excited uh, I this is the most that I've gotten so far <laughs> it's, It was kind of overwhelming like the the, the poor P.O. box was just like packed full of <laughs> stuff it was nuts Okay, so it uh, looks like that's gonna be the uh, return letter and oh he typed it up Oh, that makes it so much easier so much easier but, oh, guys, guys. Oh, yeah, it was Cyber Dragon Nova and a Scarlet Light Red Dragon Archfiend. That is awesome. Oh, man. That card is, both these cards are amazing cards, guys. They're freaking awesome. Uh, let's see. Dear Yugi, yes, yes. Hello, Yugi, yes, yes. <laughs> I love watching your YouTube videos. Thanks. During a, uh, during a time, I also decided to give up on the game because I found it not to be fun anymore. As I start to unsubscribe from Yu-Gi-Oh! channels that I watch, I've always kept your channel on my subscription list. I always found your videos to be calm yet unique, vivid yet radiant, and a con consistent driving force of memes. <laughs> I don't really put memes on my videos anymore, though, but uh, is, what, is what kept me watching. Uh, all, I, all I ask is if you sign my Cyber Dragon Nova and my Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend. Will do. Will do. I will sign both of these and get them back to you, buddy. And once again, like I've explained in the past, if you send me a stamped envelope with the cards, I will sign the cards and send them back to you in the envelope that you sent. These are some cool cards, guys. Uh, Cyber Dragon Nova is one of my favorite cards of all time. It's just, it's it's a combo maker. It's a floater. Like, this card, this card is amazing at Cyber Dragons. If you haven't played Cyber Dragons, uh, I recommend it because the deck is just insane. All right, so moving on to the next one. Oh man, I'm so, I'm so overwhelmed by all this stuff. Like, <laughs> all right, so it looks like we have another envelope. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hide. I'm gonna go ahead and hide that real quick. And uh, so we're gonna give, be opening up another card to see what this card is. Oh man. Oh, uh, oh, there's an envelope. It, oh, and this one is this one's from John Cook, by the way. John, oh, John Crook. Uh, looks like we have a little, oh, he sent, <laughs> he sent the card in another envelope, in an envelope, so he sent me, <laughs> sent me a bunch of stuff. Oh my god! It's Larve Moth! <laughs> oh man, the best card in all of Yu-Gi-Oh, guys. The, the strongest, best card in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. Right here, right here. The legendary Larve Moth. Oh my gosh, I... This card is so, so broken. Oh God, I don't know, why would you send me to this, man? That's that's so that's so rare. That that's the rarest, most powerful card ever. I mean, I mean, it beats. It's more rare than like LOB first at Exodia. And what else do we have? Oh, Cyber Dragon Infinity. Whoa! <laughs> yes. If you guys didn't know, Cyber Dragon Infinity also goes in Cyber Dragons. You slap it on top of the Nova and uh, get a get in the gate for free, and or and it's a Silent Honor Arc as well. That is, oh god, that's fantastic. I mean, Cyber Dragon Infinity, uh, Infinity though, I mean, not nearly as strong as Larry Moth. Not, not even close. Dear Mr. Yes, yes, I have been watching your content for a while and I enjoy most of it. The first video I watched of your channel was one of your Cyber Dragon, one of your Cyber Dragon deck profiles. I, I love Cyber Dragons. I like doing those videos too, they're really fun. I have put two cards in the envelope. One I want you to keep and the other is an Xyz monster that I want you to sign for me. <laughs> God, he, of course you would make me keep the Larry Moth. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> like you, I also have a YouTube channel. It's called GG and Gaming. It's a Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh channel. Sincerely, John Crook. That's cool, man. Uh, I like I like to hear when people have like their own channels and stuff. That's that's awesome. So yeah, let's. <laughs> oh my gosh. And the other is next thing I want you to sign for me yet. So you didn't want me to sign it. I will sign the Infinity, man. Oh, man. Gosh, you troll. <laughs> Send me. Send me a freaking larvae. <laughs> That's ridiculous. All right, next up we have something from Mark. Oh man, I barely opened that perfectly. You see that? <laughs> the skills, the skills are too strong. Um, oh, we have a bunch of stuff in here. What, what is all this? Uh, come on, come on, get out of there. Okay, so that's gonna be the, because uh, editing sucks. Ah, 
thanks for that. <laughs> you covered up his address for me. That's awesome. So I don't have to sit there and like have my little troll dude like covering up people's addresses. It's awesome. All right, so uh, we have a uh, card in here, it looks like. And oh, Necro. Oh, Necro is a Brian Act. Wow. Oh, man, it's been so long since I've even touched a Necroz card. Oh, my gosh. It's been a really long time since I touched this bad boy. That is, oh, man, that is freaking beautiful. It's such a beautiful, beautiful card. Oh, man, I miss Necroz so much. I freaking, oh, God, I miss that deck so, so damn much. It's such a, uh, such a fun deck to play. And, oh, it looks like we have some for food use only or whatever else. <laughs> hey, send me some money too. That's all. Thanks man, I appreciate that. That's awesome. Uh, to the Ill illustrious Yugi Nono, -No, Mark here, or as I'm better known by Instagram title, at Squirt Shadow, hashtag shameless plug. <laughs> Sorry I couldn't make this handwritten and therefore more personal. No, that's better. It makes it easier for me to read, man. But my penmanship is trash, so is mine. <laughs> so that's what I have to do. Uh, such a big fan of yours, been with you ever since the Yu-Gi-Oh! episode, Cinema Sins ad Adaptation. Ah, oh, man, I, I, I haven't done those in a long time. And have truly loved all of your content. You're such an engaging yu tuber and make the game all the more enjoyable. The epitome of hilarious in this community. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, in close, I have for you money to get yourself some Mexican food. My treat. <laughs> Mexican food is my favorite. Your favorite food as you replied to my question in your you and your girls Q&A video. <laughs> I also have a card that... I would love for you to sign for me, and I would love to display in my collection. Hope you enjoy, and thank you for opening my mail. Sincerely, Mark. P.S. I think you should go get yourself an Instagram account for you and your Yu-Gi-Oh! collection. I know you have got a ton of stuff to show off, and I'm sure many of us would thoroughly enjoy it. I actually did make a video showing off all my stuff, if you guys haven't seen it. Uh, it's, a, it's kind of a long video, but I do go and show, I mean, just about all my collection. I show everything but, like, my comments. It'll take me freaking days to show all my comments, but, you, I mean, that, that kind of goes without saying, though. But yeah, that was a really fun video to make. Uh, I'll consider making an Instagram though. And this one is signed, bam, done. Man, that was cool. Freaking Necrods of Brian Act, that's awesome. This one is from, oh, it doesn't say a name on this one. It just has, it just has his address, so. Uh, so this one's from Anonymous. <laughs> all right, so, oh, all right. Let's see what we have here. And we have the return envelope, awesome. So. It looks like we're gonna have another card to sign and oh another infinity oh dude dank <laughs> another cyber dragon infinity oh you guys know me way too well you guys know me way way too well <laughs> that is that is awesome that one looks like it's got even deeper ink and it's not even a German one or a, a, a European one maybe it is European I don't know that's crazy that's that's awesome that's freaking awesome all right so Let's see what we have here. To Yugi Nono, I wanted to personally thank you for getting me back into the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! I had quit a few years ago, but around this time last year, I got a video suggestion about a post-boss Cyber Dragon deck profile since Cyber Dragons was one of my favorite decks. And I was curious, I clicked on the thumbnail, I proceeded to watch Jesus disguised as a mortal man. <laughs> I can't even. <laughs> Jesus disguised as a mortal man named Yugi No. <laughs> Give an awesome deck profile showing off the new support. I immediately dick slapped the like button, subscribed, <laughs> and a fan to get some Bosch uh, and a fan to get some Bosch packs. The uh, the first pack I opened was the Infinity enclosed in in this letter. It would be amazing if you could sign it to show show that it's been blessed by, by the, your almighty No No presence. <laughs> I have been a huge fan ever since watching that deck profile, eagerly awaiting every unique skit and deck profile. Thanks again, Mike. Oh, dude, that is awesome. I'm glad that you, you I got you back into the game, man. That's 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 amazing. And like, Cyber Dragons are a, a great deck to play. I mean, uh, like you play like there's so many ways to play that deck. You can do rank five spam, go into infinity. You can play like uh, kaiju cyber dragons. You can do a mix of everything. You can play power bond OTK. Like there's so many different ways to play the deck. It's it's uh, gosh, it, it's an amazing deck. And yes, I will get this back to you, buddy. Thanks for the mail. Damn it, I got marker. <laughs> I got marker on me. <laughs> well, let's see. Let's see who this is from. This is from a Cody Freeman. Okay, so. Uh, I don't like these little envelopes as much. Okay, we have the return envelope. Let's go ahead and hide that so I don't have to edit it out later because that would suck. And oh, we got a card, of course. And let's see what the cards are. Oh, 
Oh, Cyberian Dragon! Oh, dude! Yes! Yes! Oh, this is this is my favorite art for it, too. Like, the darker one. Oh, that's awesome. And, oh, we have a Theseus! Oh, yes! The Cyber Dragons for the win, guys! Cyber Dragons for the win. That is awesome. Oh, I, lo I love showing off, off, off cards on the channel. That's just, oh. You guys have some really, really great cards. All right, so... Dear Yugi No No, thank you for all the amazing videos. When I started playing Yu-Gi-Oh last year, I started started watching YouTube videos, and between you, Team APS, Simo, House of Champs, and Mega Capital G, I got hooked again. That's cool. And closed in this letter are two cards. One, one, uh, the Cyberian Dragon. I would like you to autograph. Yep, it's my favorite monster archetype. It's an amazing archetype and a sea monster of Theseus. You can have what? Oh my gosh, dude! Thank you. Oh my, oh, that is awesome. Thank you again, and as always, I'll keep dick slapping that like button. <laughs> awesome. Oh man, uh, PS Cyber Dragons for life. That is that is amazing, man. That is, uh, man, gosh, you guys, the Sea Monster of Theseus. This card is amazing. As Cyber Dragons lets you go into Crystal Wing, and and all that stuff. Uh, this this is just this is just amazing. And yes, I will definitely sign this Cyber and Dragon. Uh, this is like my favorite one of my favorite cyber dragon monsters actually cyber and dragon uh, It's just uh, it's harder to it's harder just harder to get out though because uh, you know it requires like three cyber dragons So it's a little harder to get out, but I mean the 4,000 attack uh, 2800 defense like and it does uh, it does piercing damage. It's just uh, it's so good This cards amazing when you actually get it out, but yeah, this is uh, I, I don't even know what to say man Thank you. Oh, and this one's got this one's got tracking on it. This is gonna be pretty interesting to see what's in here Let's see Lots of stuff in this one. Oh, holy holy shit <laughs> lots of stuff. All right All right looks like we have the return envelope awesome and okay that's all of it let's see what we have in here oh smiley face oh <laughs> uh, there's some cards oh what are they <laughs> oh, look at that card sleeve though <laughs> oh look at that. <laughs> these card sleeves are ridiculous oh wait that's a token oh my gosh maybe it's a card sleeve i don't know oh oh man a godzilla token oh, what is <laughs> what is this stuff guys what <laughs> what stuff are you sending me uh five nights at freddy's Oh, okay, so you sent me like two tokens and a Five Nights at Freddy's thing, okay. And what, what's in this other one? What, what is the? I don't even know what this is. I've actually never played Five Nights at Freddy's. I don't know what the people say the fluffles look like. They came from Five Nights at Freddy's. I could kind of see I kind of see that. But yeah, let's see. Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's stuff. <laughs> I guess for tokens? Yeah. That's crazy. All right, let's see. Let's see what, the, what this says. Please read on camera. Will do, buddy. Hello, Mr. No No, Mr. <laughs> Dark Hydronoid here. I have been a fan for a while now. First video I saw was Worst Mirror Matches. <laughs> this is one of my favorite ones to do, actually. I do have a few questions for you. My first question is How did your girlfriend find out about you playing Yu Gi Oh? Well, I mean, uh, she kind of showed up in my apartment when, you know, before I had this house, I had an apartment. And uh, me and Jason were just were just playing, and she was like, "What? You you play this?" And I was like, "Yeah." He didn't know. <laughs> so that's pretty much what happened. Uh, second, if you could create any archetype, what would what would you create, and what would they do? Um, I, I don't I don't know about that one. Uh, and third, uh, what would Fluffles need to be tier one or tier zero? Have you ever tried Five Nights at Freddy's? Thank you for <laughs> answering my questions. Um, I would say. I mean, every archetype could use a search card. I mean, Fluffles already have a search card, you know, with dog and all that stuff. But if they had, like, you know, another, like, spell search card that made them just even more consistent, they would be friggin' broken. Um, an archetype that I would create, um, I mean, they already did Star Wars. They did Dante's Inferno. <laughs> I mean, um, what if they did, uh, I don't know. I, I can't even I can't even think right now. I'm just I'm, I'm freaking I'm over I'm overwhelmed. Enclosed are my prized uh, tokens of all time. Please no hate <laughs> no hate here, buddy. I would greatly uh, greatly appreciate it. Please autograph the common screaming bear, old Freddy. And to all you watchers, make sure you dick slap the like button and subscribe, or Freddy will bite off your frontal lobe. 
your big three-headed dragon fan, uh, Dark Hydroid. That is awesome. Yeah, I, I, I can't really answer the archetype one right now off the top of my head. But, um, you know, I, I don't have to sit there and think about it and think about, like, you know, what cards I would make for it and, you know, all that stuff. I, I can't really answer that. All right, this one is from a Harrison Lee. Let's get this, let's get cracking on this. It uh, looks like we we'll have to open it from the top. It feels like this takes up the whole envelope. Yeah, it does. I need to get me, like, a letter opener <laughs> or something. Oh, he sent me, he sent me a stamp. Okay, cool. Let's see what this says real quick. Address. Okay, so you send me his address. That's also fine. I have letters. So that one's containing his address. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show that one on camera. And uh, let's see what we have here. Feels like we have another card. What, what is it? Uh, another Cyber oh, Dragon Infinity. Baby, oh triple. baby! Oh baby! A triple! <laughs> oh man, that's so awesome! <laughs> oh, that is amazing. Three Cyber Dragon Infinities. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Uh, dear Yugi No No, hey, my name is Harrison Lee, and I really love your content. One of my favorites is your Cyber Dragon deck ideas. I have been using uh, Cyber Dragons for a while now, and you have improved my deck tremendously. Awesome. I want to give credit to you because you rock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have the Cyber Dragon Affinity card. I would like you to sign for me. we Will do. That would mean everything to me. I got into Yu-Gi-Oh! because of your channel and have become a better player. Thank you. Also, I will be using my Cyber Dragon deck at my regionals in New York. Oh, wish me luck. Good luck, man. P.S. I will always dick slap that like button. No homo. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't believe we got three infinities, guys. Three infinities. Wow, that is, oh, that is amazing. That is amazing, amazing. This one's, like, brighter looking. It's amazing, like... You know how different the cards will look when they come from different places and stuff. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed that, but like the ink's always a little different and you know all kinds of stuff. But that is uh, that is amazing. <laughs> the three Cyber Dragon Infinities, almost as strong, almost as strong as the Larvae Moth. Almost. <laughs> we haven't quite topped the Larvae Moth. <laughs> all right, last we have the big thing. I wanted to save what's probably going to be the best. I assume for last. I'm not sure. Uh, this I don't know what this is. This feels like soft. I have no idea idea what this is guys and I'm I wanted to save this for like the end of the video get everything else out of the way before I get like I don't know I don't know what this is gonna be <laughs> let's, let's just let's see here oh okay so it looks like he sent me another return okay well I'll go ahead and hide that all right cool he sent me a stamped a big thick uh, return envelope that's awesome and oh malefic blue eyes white dragon malefic red eyes black dragon oh and we have the toad <laughs> totally awesome man <laughs> totally awesome oh wow wow okay do you know no i'm sorry to inform you my doctor said it is unhealthy to keep dick slapping the, that like button <laughs> I love all of your videos. I think that my favorite ones are the MLG videos. Do you think you could do a video to see if uh, Bujins can MLG? <laughs> They're my favorite archetype. Yours, uh, Quentin Washington. P.S. Please sign the Malefics and Totally Awesome. Will do. P.P.S. Riley Reed. <laughs> all right, let's sign the Toad first. Wow, wow, the freaking Toad, guys. Freaking a uh, gay frog side fucking another gay frog. <laughs> You guys have sent me some awesome, awesome stuff today. I, w I did not know what was going to be in that envelope. I thought I, I thought it was going to be a shirt, honestly, or something. Like, it was kind of a small package for a shirt, but, I mean, it felt, like, soft or whatever. It was just, uh, it was, it, I had no idea what was going to be in that. This is a big, big surprise. Oh, man, there's even a Malefic Truth Dragon in here. Wow. This is, oh, gosh, this is awesome. I wish Malefics would, like, make a comeback or, or something. That'd be a lot of fun. But... Yeah, they're probably never ever gonna come back, uh, sadly. But I mean, they're just—they're such a fun deck to play. I remember messing with Malefics back when, and uh, Malefic Stardust that went in uh, in an Evil Swarm. So see right there, Malefic Cyber and Dragon. Oh, that is awesome! Gosh, that is cool. <laughs> Malefics are just such a—they're cool. They're just a cool-looking deck. They—they they really, really are. They're just an awesome, awesome-looking deck. And I'm glad someone still appreciates them because that's uh, uh, an archetype I kind of, I kind of miss uh, being around, you know, being more prevalent. I guess it was never like 
super, super prevalent, but I mean, it was still like, it was still a really fun deck to play. All right, guys, thank you once again for all the fan mail. It's been fantastic reading all this today. I'm, I'm so stoked. You guys have sent me some really awesome cards to sign and look at. This is just amazing. And also, someone sent me the most powerful card all of Yu-Gi-Oh, which is, God, it's freaking broke. And someone, like, even gave me a Theseus that I, oh, gosh, I, I can't, I can't even believe it. So yeah, if you want to send me your fan mail, the P.O. Box is 1391 Owasso, Oklahoma 74055. You keep sending me stuff and I'll keep opening it. Be sure to support me on Patreon and as always, dick slap that like button and subscribe. Mm.